Hello guys, welcome back to Digital Wealth Academy. This is Alex Etsy. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to edit videos with CapCut, how to create animation videos, also how to create um contents for your faceless YouTube, Facebook page, and TikTok account for monetization purpose. Mind you, this part three of our course because in part one we um talked about how to create storylines or create stories and how to do your voiceover. In part two, we talked about how to get images that will fit in for your animation or for your videos. So this is the third part: editing. How do you get to put these pieces together? You know, and to use cap cuts and other applications to get the best results. So I'm going to be doing a video. Actually, I'm working on a storytelling channel right now. And if you're not yet subscribed to that channel, um, just hit the um, description um, option. You'll see the link and try to subscribe to that channel to get various content ideas on what I'll be doing on that channel. You can implement them yourself and try them. So um, this is like an episode two of my story. So first thing I would need to do is um, you need to download CapCut. All right. So both the normal version on Play Store as well as the Arc version, basically, I think they do the same thing. CapCut actually gives a whole lot of um, options, even for the free users. So you might not even need a premium account for this. So once you download your CapCut, this is how the app virtually looks like. So I'm going to open this app right now and I'm going to click on a new project. So I want to begin a new project. So first of all, I'm going to tap the project. So um, I'm going to be adding, it's going to give me options to add videos or to add pictures. So remember, it's a storytelling channel I'm working on. So I'm like, I've done a story. I've done a, my voiceover and I've also built, um, um, what's it called? I've also downloaded pictures using AI generators. All these pictures they are AI generated pictures that will suit into my story. So as you can see, the picture of the main character is quite consistent. So this is what I was telling you about in the second video, how to create consistent characters. So at this time, first of all, I would just add some pictures to the dashboard and I will show you how to do everything shortly. So let me just pick out some of the pictures. I will rearrange them or realign them, but let me just pick out the first picture that will be on the, um, what's it called, in the video or in the animation. <clears throat> so having added this picture, this is the first one. I'm going to be adding more subsequently. What I want to do right now is I want to add my voice over. So like I told you, you can either use your own voiceover. Like I prefer using mine because, um, for example, most of my storytelling channels have to do with African names and most of the AIs will not be able to generate the African names the way you would want to and connect with your audience. And let's say I'm already comfortable with using my voice because I'm a YouTuber already. But if you're not comfortable with using your voice, okay, um, watch the first video, I guess. I, I showed you, I gave you some apps that could also help you generate an um, automatic voiceover. So now I've added this. The next thing I want to do is I want to add audio. So what you can do now on your app, you will see this type of dashboard. So you can either click on audio or you click here, you see on add audio. So I'm going to click on audio. I'm going to click on sounds, okay? So I'm going to add sound. And it's going to take me, you can add TikTok sound, but I'll come to this folder option and select from my folder. Then the next thing is going to tell you, it's going to ask you, if you go to your device, you will see all the, all the songs in your, um, in your phone that you've downloaded. So here are two things you can do. All right. So um, if, it's, if you're using the um, voiceover or the audio recorder, the recommended one I showed you in the first video, is you would definitely see your recordings in the file here. However, I did my, um, my voiceover on a different app, though it's saved as a video file. So what I'll come to do here right now is I'll click on extract audio from video so that I can select the video, a particular video I want to extract from. So what this also means is if you also want to do a video, for example, like um, you want to use the weddings or the music or the voiceover of another video, you can easily extract the audio out from any other video you want to use it on. So I'm going to extract it from the video file, which I used for my voiceover. As his eyes fell on me, his facial expressions went from anger to confusion to pity. So this is um the this is the video. I will just select it. As his eyes fell on me, his facial expressions. So I'll click on add. So automatically um 
it would come, what's it called now? It will come here and it has extracted it already. You can see this is it over here. Four minutes, 14 seconds. So I'm just going to click on plus. So let me play it for you. As his eyes fell on me, his facial expressions went from anger. All right, so as you can see, the recording is not too clear. Like there's a little bit of echo in that because yeah, I did it in the room and all those stuff, and I didn't use any external mic. Okay, so I want to give it an enhanced volume. This is why I love CapCut. So many options here to use. Okay, so to enhance the voice, what I will simply do right now is just I'll tap on the. But meanwhile, let's even play the voice. Let's see if there's going to be any difference, just for you to observe if you can observe it over the recording. So let me play it again. As his eyes fell on me, his facial expressions went from. So you can see the voice is a little bit somehow, should I say rough, kind of. So what I will do right now is I will click, once I click on the um, on this voice over, take note, like this way I'm clicking on the voice over here. So once I click on it, these options will show. So I will just scroll to the side over here and click on enhance voice. So I would click on here to only turn it on and click on this good sign. So it's turned on and I'll click on good. So I'll allow it, it's going to take like a minute or a couple of minutes to enhance. Then let me pause the video till it does that. Alright, so let me now play so that we can compare and contrast. Meanwhile, if you are watching up to this point, congrats for staying on this um, video till now. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. As well, comment value received. So let me play it for you. As his eyes fell on me, his facial expressions went from anger to confusion. So as you can see right now, um, it's sounding a little bit better compared to previously the voice is calm the background noise and echoing has, um, has reduced so at this point in time the next thing we want to do or the next thing you can do is if you feel the volume is not loud enough you can come here to increase the volume now meanwhile i'll be showing you the basic or the key things right now because if you if you follow me step by step this video might become too long and boring so the first one now is we've learned how to add pictures so if you want to add more pictures so um the way you can do it is if you have written your story maybe on your laptop you can just follow up from your laptop but like for example right now i'm just going to be playing it and be adding to see the pictures that will fit into the various scenarios so let's begin again all right as his eyes fell on me his facial expressions went from anger to confusion okay so this is the character we are still talking about so i'm just going to increase this a little bit let me see it's to see the next expression that we manifest on his face i promptly Okay. Action that we manifest on his face. I promptly turned around and took to my hip. All right. So after now, the meaning the next image will be somebody running. So let's see one of the pictures I've used for this character. All right. So let me just go back. So he ran. He took to his heels. All right. So let's see which picture best describe that. Let me play this. Let me put this out first. Okay. No, this is not the one I would want to use. Okay beautiful okay no not this okay so i'll use this all right so based on his face i promptly turned around and took to my heels everything was blow as i ran through the back door all right so this is just for tutorial sake now let me quickly show you things you could do all right so we don't make this too long now if the video is as his eyes like fell on me his anger to confusion just imagine the video is playing like this and the pictures are just showing no form of motion or whatever it could be boring that's number one next thing is just imagine the transition i promptly turned around and the, the transition is also very boring we do not want this kind of boring stuff right so now let me tell you this is what you would do first of all let me teach you how to add a little bit of motion to these pictures. So what you do is touch, click on this place, this um, this bar where you have your pictures laid, okay, where you're adding your pictures, click on it. Now, as soon as you click on it, you discover that something here has shown. These are called keyframes. So this is what you do. First of all, click on this to add a keyframe here. So I'll just click on it. Plus, you see something has been added there. Right? This is a keyframe. Then the next thing is scroll to any other side you want to add the next keyframe click on it so you can see we have a keyframe here and a keyframe here all right two keyframes already so what do you now do come to this lower layer over here okay and just scroll to where you will see um style or basic you see something like this basic right so what you do is click on basic and when you click on basic click on scale so once you click on scale now here's what's going to happen if you move to the right like if you draw it towards this side you'll see that your pictures is going to be zoomed out right so 
it's going to be zoomed out depending on the degree you want it to be zoomed out if you do it you can see it will also be zoomed in so now let's see let's zoom let's let me put it at 125 all right 125 percent and let me click on good so let me play this for you to see as his eyes fell on me, his facial expressions went from anger to confusion so can to see pity the and to resignation. To forward. Right. I did not wait to see the next expression that we manifest on it. I promptly turned. All right, so that was number one. Number two is this transition. We don't want it to just trans, you know, just to transit, just so boring. So what you do is click on this place here. Now you see various types of transition. So, for example, let me use um, these. Um, there's one I love using. Okay, you can use, you can just test test them. For example, if you use mix, you will see it's going to give you a I kind of transition. You can even increase it. Based on his face. So, I promptly turned around and took to my... So, if you increase it from here, for example, it's going to take it like, the transition is going to be a little bit slower and it's depending on how you want it. So, let's play this, for example. Next expression that we manifest on his face. I promptly turned around and took to my heels. You can see. Everything nice was one. through the back door. So we'll still do the same thing. Add keyframe to each of the pictures so that it's not just going to be boring. So this might take your time. Some lazy people might just want to <laughs> just want to do it anyhow they want. You can even add two keyframes in such a way that it comes front and goes back. So for example, let me add two keyframes. So this keyframe is between here and here. And I would come to basic again. Scroll to basic. And I will bring it in, zoom it in. After doing that, I'll come over here, add another keyframe, and add another keyframe here. And I'll still come to basic and zoom out so that it comes both front and back. So let's now see how this goes from the beginning. As his eyes fell on me, his facial expressions went from anger to confusion, to pity and to resignation. I did not wait to see the next expression that we manifest on his face. I promptly turned around and took to my heels. Everything was blur as I ran through the back door and headed towards the parking area. My only goal was to lead these bloodthirsty men away from me. Alright, so you can see, man, it's now making a whole lot of sense. Then the next thing we want to do right now is, this kind of scene, you need some kind of vibe, some kind of soundtracks. And this is why I love um, crap cuts compared to other um, video editors. So when you go to sound, so you can come back to sound option. Now, if, for example, you, you do not see sound, make sure you are like, you might, if, for example, now, let's say you are clicked in on, okay, if you are still on this picture menu, on the picture tab, you might not see sound. All you need to do is to click here to go back to the main menu so you can see we are on sound now. So click on sound. So once you click on sound, click on sound effects. You can see we have sound effects here. Now with this, you'll be able to add various type of instrumentation and the rest. So depending on what you want. So for example, if the, if it's a gunshot you want, go to fight. You can see we have various sounds like big explosion, gunshot, and the rest. So but for me right now, what I want to add is kind of horror because it's going to be a horrible moment. So you can just play. Beautiful. I love this. So I'm going to add this. Then I'm also going to click on it. I'm going to click on the, now. You can see we now have three layers. These are picture. These are voiceover. This is the horror sound that we'll be using for this for for this scene. So I'm going to click on that horror sound, and I'm going to click on volume. I'm going to reduce it. I want I don't want it to uh, overshadow my voice. As his eyes fell on me, it's still too loud. So volume. Let me... As his eyes fell on me, his facial expressions went. As his eyes fell on me, his facial expressions went. As his eyes fell on me, his facial expressions went from anger to confusion, to pity and to resignation. I did not wait to see the next expression that we manifest on his face. I promptly turned around and took to my heels. Guys, man, this is cool. All right, so these, I think these are the basic things you would need for doing stuff like this. Meanwhile, on your own, you can still go around, play with these and, you know, do a whole lot of things. So I've given you like the basic tips you want to, you might need to use. So what I'm going to do right now is let me just work on this video. After doing everything within the next couple of minutes, okay, I will now play from beginning to the end to now see how we just um, AIs and the rest. We've been able to put a good story that trust me would also make you you know blow you out of your mind. Then I also give you some finishing or some final touches to your editings and how to do one or two other things. So let me stop the video. Let me work focus on my work and. Once I'm done with everything, I'll give you the final, um, the final touches.
All right, guys, so we've done the editing, um, basically. To watch this very interesting um, script, um, just check the description, subscribe to the storytelling channel, and you get to see the action and all that. I don't want this video to be too long. So quickly, other things you can want to do, um, outside the ones I've taught you already, um, you, um, if you want to change the aspect ratio, depending on the um, platform you're creating your video for, you can click on that aspect ratio option over here then um that switches here if you want to create automatic captions you can just click on it to generate then go through it and edit it yourself so you can just play around the CapCut app very easy but the basic things you would need are what i've told you so the next thing is you would need to save your um, file so once you click on this option over here for saving you can select the quality usually i prefer to save it at the 1080 pixel all right then I will click on save. So usually I leave these other settings, frame rate 30, code rate um, recommended. So I just leave it at this. So I'll click on the option and you can see it's saving. So after saving it, what I would, would usually do is I would want to cut the, um, you know, once you use CapCut and using the free version, at the end of your video, uh, you would see the CapCut option usually over there. And you know, if you don't want that to be on your video, at the end very simple so let me allow it save then i'll show you how i normally cut mine all right so as you can see it has been saved the next thing i'll do right now is i'll go to InShot. so i have a, the premium InShot, like the unlocked version and for the android users you get to see the link to join our free application platforms or our unlocked app application platforms on telegram where you can download it so i'll click on video right now and okay so once I click on video, I'll add the video. The video is over here. So I'll add it to my timeline. So all I'll simply just scroll to the end part, which usually has this cap cut image. So you can see. Um, While I bent on my haunches. So all I'll just do is take it to the end, look for where we have splits, and I'll just split the video and delete it. So you can see automatically once it comes here, it ends. All right, so that's it basically. If you want to also add other videos, like let's say you want to add multiple videos and blend them into one, I'll be doing tutorials subsequently on this channel for that. Okay, so the more reason you need to hit that subscribe button. If you want to be a part of our content creation WhatsApp group, also you'll find the link to the description there. So you can also get to have one-on-one -on -one access and so many other um, opportunities for you. All right, guys, till I come your way with more edifying tutorials.